Hey YouTube, what up? This is Miles and Jose from Nexus Core here. We brought you a box of the Climax Booster Violence Vanity. This is the edgy version of the two Climax Boosters. So, um, this is content. We're going to do an unboxing for you. So, uh, let's, let's crack this baby open. I gotta finger it a little bit. Just unwrap it. Give it some foreplay. Oh, yeah. I'm going to... You gotta toss the skin. Sometimes it's nutritious to eat. Toss the force. <laughs> That's Ranma right there. All right, cool. So we got this card fight area ad. Um, let's move the box. Uh, okay. We got promo. Hold on. What? There you go. Okay. So here's the promo. This is the uh, fusion assist. It's with for Excel blades, which uh, we don't care about, except they got like top at Kara. What are you doing? Open up the packs. Okay. Hey, no talking. <sighs> okay. Uh, oh, we already got our first triple rare. Hey, look, it's Deadly Eyes. Hey, it's me. Yeah. Um. Uh, Husk Blood. Maybe I could hold it up. Better idea. Uh. No. Fuck it. Ooh. So um, we'll go over the cards later, maybe. Got a foiled uh. Hey, Item it's that for... um, blood sect, and then uh, none it's of these. Not, it's not a double R. It's just a what foil, the fuck? So. Force field got reprinted. Why? It's two gauge. It's heavy. Okay. Um, what if I actually moved over next to you? That would be better. Now we get to be close. <gasps> so, what are you guys looking forward to in uh, this set that already came out? Oh, we um, got an SP pack. What? Oh, the secret. Hey, it's vanity. It's the Lost World stuff. Dude, Ooh. that's super cool. This guy's um, decent. Uh, Vile Demonic Deity Dragon Vanity Epoch Destroyer. Good God, the name. Um, so it's, its call cost is uh, when a Lost World monster enters your drop, you pay two gauge so you can call it. And then um, it can't be destroyed by card effects. And then it's scale Dimension Door Impetus. It's not a penis. Uh, when it enters the field, you pick two cards or... Mo Let me see. Pick two cards on your opponent's field, drop all souls from them, and then send them to the drop zone. Um, you don't destroy them, you just send them to the drop. So, abilities like this card cannot be destroyed, uh, it goes over that. Um, and then it has double attack. So, uh, pretty good card. And what are the others? Was this, uh, you just made up all your money, right? Uh, this is not $60. Oh. It's called Inumail Kakarot? I don't know. Catarant. Um, it's, your opponent cannot draw cards by monster effects, and when this card is destroyed, you may pay a gauge if you return this card to your hand. It's got move and double attack. Not bad. F oh, F that guy looks so cool. Roll face. I like this card. Roll face, right. yeah. Um, those things. What it does is, when this card enters the field, destroy all items and spells on your opponent's field, and when it's destroyed, destroy all monsters. Dimension wave? Neat. This card looks cool. Uh, destroy a monster on your field, put the top... Two cards you're decking your gauge. Oh, you gain uh, two life and then draw one card. Not bad. Day of Devastation. I haven't seen this card, actually. Okay, counter. Choose from the following two. Destroy all monsters on your opponent's field and deal one damage to your opponent for each card destroyed. For this turn, all cards in your opponent's field uh, cannot be... Oh, wait, what? All cards on your field cannot be destroyed. Return to hand and their abilities cannot be nullified by permanent card effects. Solid. So, uh, well, we got the secret pack that I was hoping for. I don't know... Does what? a secret pack not, like... $60 or some shit? No, secret packs are typically like uh, $25, $30. Hmm. And just some Guardian stuff. Wait, is that what they're called? No. Um, the Dude, we got a second secret angels. pack. Angels? Uh, no, but we got another triple rare. Oh, Archangel Dragon Raphael. This card looks awesome. Jesus, that's gorgeous. Uh, what do? Um, pay two gauge, put some of your dick into the soul. Counteract Advent during your opponent's uh, attack phase. Call this card from your hand to an open area by paying its call cost. At the start of your opponent's final phase, if you took four or more damage in total in this turn, you gain eight life and draw two cards. It says move, triple attack, and soul guard. That's good. I'm a fan. It's a 717. We stand card. that card. <laughs> uh, nice. Now just declaration check. Oh, here's a funny set spell for a Lost World. It's, uh, you cast it, pick seven cards from your drop zone, throw it into the soul. 
Um, whenever you want, when your opponent makes an attack, remove one soul and nullify the attack. So you can have up to seven nulls. Pretty uh, funny. Another foil. Chess! Rook Viola the soul. Uh... No, just just a basic uh -oh. answer. What? What? What are we seeing oh, here? Oh, oh, oh. oh it's a double. Wave. Knowledge. Oh, like that Ferrari dude. I mean, we got... What is it? What, what was the guy? Some Mexican. Knowledge? Is he Mexican? You may only cast this card if you have a draw metal on your field. Look at the top three cards of your deck. Put one from among them into oh, your God. hand. This guy's adorable. And put the rest into your gauge. And if you have an oppressed area, gain two life. Richard, <laughs> make it the thumbnail. Boop, boop. Oh, wait, what? No, just put the high rarity stuff. That, that is high rarity. <laughs> you fucking mong. Hey. Um. That hurt. Hey. Was. Nothing. Uh, uh. A card that you need, but that we don't need. Here's a max dragon spell. Um, max dragons are good. Y'all need to get chest break. What is. Oh, whoa, what is this? Nothing. Nothing. Dequake. More nothing. Oh, more nothing. Come on, SP. Um. Oh, I got a high rarity card. Hey, look, it's Mirin Coast Guard. Coast Guard. Huh? We got a uh, Zerberos. What is. Oh, hey, this is the Max Dragon dude. I think. This is like the size 3, I believe. Um. Marin Coast Guard, it's got double attack, and when it attacks, your opponent chooses and drops a hand card. That's pretty good. Bewitching oh, Crimson Mirage Sync. He's part of the new, like, magical deck. That's, that's a guy? Yeah, they're like a K-pop group or something. Or J- I don't know. There's some disappointment. Um, hey, I, uh, I was gonna hold it, but I can't anymore. I really have to take a shit. Can you just, like, I'm gonna go, and can you do, like, do a pack a minute or something while I'm gone? Sure. Okay, I've timed my shits before. It should only be like Ooh, five nice. or seven minutes. Okay, uh, I'll be right back. Thank you. All right. So one pack a minute. All right, uh, I'm uncomfortable now, so that's going to be fun. We pulled a Foul Snoop Deep Lurker, a card that I need for my Dragon Blood set that still hasn't been shown on the channel because I kept putting it off to the point that uh, it just, like, got support until the moment I stopped putting it off. So what this, what it does is act, put this card in your, your hand, from your hand. Ah, okay. Act, put this card from your hand into the soul of a dragon blood suck monster in your field. Souls in the dragon blood suck can't be dropped by your opponent's card effects. During your opponent's turn, if this card is in the soul of a dragon blood suck, when your opponent's monsters are destroyed by your card effects, put the top card of your deck into your gauge and you gain a life. That's, that's pretty cool. Next. We are going to open another pack of Violence Vanity. Five cards per pack, total of 85 types. English edition, Ace Climax Booster Pack, Volume 2, Violence Vanity. Just reading off the things so that... Because Miles decided to leave me alone doing this. Just gonna put these over here. So you all can see the cards. <sighs> Opening up another pack of cards. And just to spite him. Ooh, JoJo reference. Two cleansing judgment in one pack. That's really weird. And another card that I need, King Dadan. So, foil goes here. These go here. Alright. Got like two packs left. Three, four, something like that. Next. Let's see what this is. Madness Luna. Sword of the King Dynasty Elf. Venom Swamp. We gotta drain the swamp. Uh, Red Wave Scarlet Finger. Exceed Black Crown. Nothing in that pack. 
All right, next we have, let's see, Dimensional Heritage and Andarios, Cataflu Buck, Angel Troop Lintus, Fusion Style Training Grounds Kaziba, and uh, the final boss of Persona 5. We got another. Oh my god, dude, that was so satisfying. Oh, uh, Miles missed us pulling another SP, another secret pack, so. Oh my god, that was great. All right, we have. What did we get? Wait, where's the secret? Indestructible. You didn't pull a secret pack. Oh. You didn't get another. You lied. Focus purpose fake heart. Dumbass. Venom bind. Poopy. Grandmaster crown. Distortion wall. Okay, second to last pack. Final pack. Nothing. Nope, just, um, Care Fob Man. Is it just me, or do those cards get progressively stupider in names? Yes. Yes, they do. When a Lost Vader on your field attacks, just throw a card on your opponent's field and deal one damage to it. Whoa, to we, got, we got something shiny in the what? back. What? 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 Let, let, let's lead up to I it. I like shine. We got Dimension Dragon Phobos. Circlet of Reflect. Fortune favors the dragon. Is it Anime Girl P? Venom Bind. This is uh, Darkness Dragon World. And oh. Angel Troop Exodia. Wait, it's called... No. Exos... Exo it, it's called Exo Exosia. Um, Advent, you can call it on your opponent's attack phase. Uh, by paying its call cost. I like that it says that, but it doesn't have a call cost. When this card enters the field by Advent, you have another Imperial Core on your field. Dude, Nexus Core. Nexperial Core. Comment that if you made it this far. Thanks, I hate it. On your field, look at the top two cards of your deck. Put one from them into your hand and put the rest in your gauge. Oh, neat. Okay. Um, let's go over the high shit we got. The biggest pull is the shit out of my ass, though. That's technically high rarity. No, I guess we can show off uh, Zerberos because that's the um, the uh, that's a that's a big boy. I just want to show this on the camera. What are those? Oh, oh, cute! I saw one of the um, the Barians from Yu-Gi-Oh's Exile. Well, you're taking a shit, yeah. No, no. This was years ago. This was tenth grade. Uh, okay, so we got Exosha, double rare. We got Foul Snoop Deep Lurker. <laughs> the name is so funny. Um. A Bewitching Crimson Mirage. Sink. What a dumb name. This is triple. Uh, Mirin Kozgar, which in my opinion should not be a double rare. Uh, Maxime of Absolute Strength. What does this do? You only cast oh, this card? that reminds you... me. Uh, yeah. I, because Maxime, you know Solemn? Yeah. I named my dog Max after Solemn because Solemn's a bitch. Wow. That was savage. You're really proud of yourself, huh? I came up with that one yeah, in the yeah, shower yeah. last night. Oh, that's cute. I'm glad that you got to use it. <laughs> <laughs> we only cast this card during attack on your opponent's turn. Oh, is it there? Null. Null the attack, then look at the number of cards from the top of your deck equal to the number... Equal to the... To your center monster's size. Oh, because Zerberos gets sized up. Uh, put one from them into your hand, put the rest of them on your deck in any order. Hey, can y'all do me a favor? If you ever build Max Dragons, can you name the deck Super Size Me? Like that one documentary about the McDonald's. Um, this one guy... Raphael, which I still think looks awesome, and the Lost World Secret Pack, and then a Bloody Deadly Eyes. So, Jose, there you go. You owe me more money. No, I don't. We split this box, you fucking moron. We didn't split this box. Cool. Um, any last words, Jose? Or do you want to go eat spaghetti together? I want to eat spaghetti. You want to eat spaghetti? Can you not touch? If you touch me again, I'll bite your fucking...